Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Today I'm going to show you how to mask your YouTube videos when you embed them so the YouTube branding is not visible, which will make it harder for people to try to download the video and will also give your pages a better look and feel. In fact, I'm going to show you how to make your YouTube videos look like if they were hosted by Vimeo to confuse people further. So if they ever would try to like download your video, they would expect it to be a Vimeo video and therefore use the wrong downloaders and it will not work. So let's jump right to it. So here you have, uh, have a list of my YouTube channel and my YouTube videos and we're going to go to ClickFunnels to just show you one example of a page where I have a video embedded. Um, we're going to pick this funnel and as you see there's a video embedded and we're going to visit the page and you see it's embedded like this so it shows up like um, with the, the name of the video and when people click on it, it will open it on YouTube and they would leave your page or add to watch later or share or the YouTube button itself and stuff like that. So which is really, really um, not what we want, especially not on sales pages because we want people to be able to simply watch the video and then buy or opt in or whatever but we don't want them to like get distracted by all the stuff. That's in fact like why we're using funnels without the top navigation. We want them there to only have one way out. Embedding your YouTube videos gives them multiple way, ways out. So when we talk about click funnels, we're just gonna modify that funnel real quick. We have multiple options. Like one of them would be to um, use videos hosted at Vimeo or Vistia um, or Easy Video Suite. Which, but all of those are monthly paid options. So you have like monthly expenses to do that or you do a custom embed. But even if you were, would use the extension like um, modest branding one in your URL, it would like hide the YouTube logo. But as soon as somebody tries to get into full screen, screen it would show it again. So there's like literally no way to properly do this. Um, but luckily for me, I discovered, I'm gonna not save this here. I discovered a new software it's a web service and it's also, you have to pay for it, but it's a one-time purchase and you can use it lifetime for all your videos. In fact, maybe you can offer your service to other people to do that for them. And it's gonna do the following. So if we go here and on this page, you see there's also a video embedded and we're gonna uh, open the page. So you see the video, oh, it's the wrong page, my mistake. Um, we're gonna open the page and you see yeah, page is a little slow, but you see there's a video. It's set to autoplay. I can pause it. It looks like Vimeo. Yeah. Um, and if we go to edit, it actually is a YouTube video, but you will see in the code, you will see that it's a custom embed. Yeah, but I'm still gonna. Uh, yeah, so here also, but it's a YouTube video. In fact, um, you, you cannot see it in here. It's just as a custom embed this way. And uh, from YouTube, it's actually this uh this one no this one yeah so it's this youtube video that i have embedded now how does this work it's not rocket science you simply um go to your video page on youtube and then you go to share and you copy this url right here for the video yeah and then you need the, the service Jobull. I'm going to link it down in the description below. It's going to be an affiliate link, link. So when you buy it, I will get a small commission, but it will, will not change anything for you um, because you anyway will have to pay for it. And it's a one-time purchase of $97. So, so like for some of you, it may be too expensive. Um, then ask around if somebody else has it or something because um, they may shorten your or like optimize your videos for you. So what happens like I just paste the video URL in here and I press next and it's going to take some time to load the video and now I can like um, change the designs the way I want them. Um, for example, I can pick a Vimeo layout, I can pick a Vistia layout. Um, so people think it's hosted on Vistia, which is actually the, the hardest one to download if people know how to download. Yeah. Um, but I usually pick Vimeo. And then I can say, change the progress bar color if I want to. So like I even can change the Vimeo look. Uh, I can turn on and off autoplay. I can hide the control bar so the bar is not visible at all. I can disallow pause so people cannot pause the video. So I could set it to autoplay and those two and the video would just play with no option for the user to pause it or to um, yeah like skip forward or backward. Um, I can turn high quality on or off and I can hide the YouTube logo. Now, what's important for, for the um, YouTube yeah, stuff, uh, for the 
YouTube videos, I always forget the numbers, yeah, but in order for them to be displayed properly, you need to set them here to 560 uh, and 315. 315 otherwise the video will be like cut and not in proportion and stuff like that yeah so that's something you need to remember or write down somewhere i usually just go to one video that i embedded and then i like copy that that code snippet yeah and that's going to be shown above then and because it's mentioned in there and so i don't have to remember i just look it up from one of the videos that i've already done so what you need to do next is like you take the script script code uh, and you put it into the header of your website. If you are like working with a funnel, you can either go in the funnel page and go to tracking code and edit in the head area here. And you say here it has all your controls, like what you configured, like that controls should be shown and stuff like that. Yeah. And then once you've done that, you go there and go on, uh, click on embed and it's created, creating the, the diff element that you should include. And as you see here, it contains the information about the width and the height, the 560 and 350. Um, so you can just copy that. And that's in fact, that's in fact exactly the element that I have here, as you can see, like, I mean, you only see parts of it, but if I, if I scroll a little bit through it, you will see that's exactly the, the element um, that I have here. Yeah, it's like Jillbull build video and then the idea of the video and so on. Yeah, and the result, as you could see here, no, not here, as you can see, if we go on preview here, is that your video will be embedded. Again, the loading times, I, I have some in internet issues today. It's not really like um, loading that slow. It will load like every other video. But as you can see, it looks like Vimeo. Uh, right click is not possible on the video. So if people try to figure out how to save it or something, of course, there would still be a way to download it. Like if people go to inspect, then they will uh, uh, find the element as I'm doing it right now. And then you would see like the iframe is loading this. Yeah, so I could uh, copy link address and then I could go here and it should probably load the video for me. But even here, even here, as you can see, I cannot put, uh, oh here, yeah, so even here I cannot do a right click. So here again, I would press, need to press F12 and then probably somewhere here, if I keep looking, then I would probably find the YouTube URL or not. But as you see, compared to a regular YouTube video, if we go here, all I need to do is like uh, right click, copy video URL and I go to YouTube downloader, like online video converter and I paste it in and I press enter. So um, that's how hard it is to download a YouTube video, which if you are like offering web courses or something, that's how hard it is for the average person to steal your videos. So they don't have like limited access like you intended them to have, but they have them permanently and will share them with, your, with their friends. So, and they just would have to click the download button and you would have the video. But if you look at this version of it, you see it's like, almost impossible for them to download. There is a way they could record the screen and a million other ways like, but the thing is like, uh, even for me with 15 years of IT experience and e-commerce experience, I would need now some time. And I didn't try it before, but I would need some time to figure out how do I best like now download um, the actual video because there's no, there is no online downloader built for Jillbull vi videos like there is for Vimeo and so stuff like that. So you still will have your videos hosted on YouTube, which is great because it's easy and it's free and you can have them unlisted if you don't want them visible in the YouTube search results. Um, so you will have all the benefits of YouTube, but you will also have the benefits of like people not being able to steal your content and having full control over your video. So now if you, if you're like making money with your, with your websites, with your funnels, then obviously it's probably worth the investment the investment of like uh, $97. If you're just having like a random website as a like personal hobby, then probably it's not worth the money. Yeah? But what I wanted to show you, it's, it's really, the, I really did a lot of research. It's the only way to get your video embedded clean without anything else, without any other crap. Yeah? Um, it also, it obviously only works if you can include also the JavaScript. So if you would do this in some web community, like a forum or something, it probably will not work because you will not be allowed to add script tags. Yeah. And without the script tag, just this code alone probably will not work because it's configured here. Yeah. So it really only works for your website, your funnels. If you would use WordPress and embed the videos there, you would get like the WordPress header and footer scripts plugin. 
yeah for example unless your your theme already has a, a setting for header scripts and you would put the code there and um, yeah the header and footer scripts plugin is actually great because it allows you to add the script on uh, for each paste uh, page or post so you would have more control on which page you want to embed videos in which style yeah um, that's pretty much it so that's a way to protect your videos from from like being copied by other people and also from uh, yeah like from giving people another way to exit again like if it were a video like this a lot of people would probably be like oh here's a YouTube logo there's a share button there's a watch now actually I can copy the video URL so it's like for a lot of people it's a lot it, it, it or for some people this may be a distraction they will check out well let's check out this guy's youtube channel how many followers does he even have like i'm not gonna buy anything if he only has 10 followers or stuff like that yeah so this way you make sure that your website looks more professional your videos look more professional for people oh my god that's a, a perfect still moment yeah and for people um that know a little bit it will look like Oh, he has a Vimeo account, so he's paying for the hosting of his videos. So apparently he's making money. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you make a lot of money, but it will like for some people, it will mean no difference at all. Yeah, for some people, it will make the difference that they cannot copy a video, even if they try hard. And for other people, it will make the difference that they will get the feeling that you are making money because you're also investing in proper software to protect your video. So, but compared to uh, Vimeo, for example, um, where you would have to, I don't remember the prices, yeah. So it starts at like seven dollars per month, but you only have five gigabit of uh, gigabyte of traffic, uh, and goes up and up, yeah. So like, of course, if you would ha uh, pay a year of Vimeo, it would be the same price than roughly than paying the one-time price here, or four months, uh, five months of the pro plan would also be the same as paying here. You can keep hosting your videos on YouTube. If we go to Vistia, where's their pricing there? Um, you will see their, their free plan doesn't offer a lot. It's branded videos and so on. Yeah. And free video limit. And other than that, it's like already a hundred dollars per month. So one month is already more expensive than using this and you can use it like forever. So go ahead. I hope this helped you. If you have other ways or no other ways to, to like really, um, mask your youtube videos so they are not recognizable as youtube videos anymore and that allow people or prevent them from downloading them let me know in the comments below i'm sure there may be other ways i haven't found any so far so for me like spending that 97 dollars was a really easy choice because it saves me a lot of time now and i know my videos look better and cannot be copied and people i have full control if, if i want to force people to watch them or if i give them control of pausing and forward and rewind and stuff like that um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. See you next time. Bye bye.